hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing a diy accurate nail for beginners everything you need to do accurate nails on a budget will be in the description box below in this video i also show my mistakes and i will talk about them so if you feel inspired or decide to try them you will learn from my mistake and have better end results i hope <laughs> better than i did i am not a professional nail tech i really don't know what i'm doing so don't come for me in the comment section i will love the encouragement but don't come for me in the comment section i'm not really professional i'm only just trying and it's just for the fun so one thing you should definitely know when you're doing acrylic nails is not to not to try to find perfect nails to fit your nail because i did that and they end up being a little bit too big as you could see because when you press on it it spreads and when it spreads they get bigger than your nail is so definitely downsize size on your nails when doing it just a tad bit nothing too much that will look wrong or anything so when you're doing your nails just long size one bit nothing too much because then when you start building the nail the acrylic will expand because you're building that I'm afraid so it will expand and you will get the perfect size nail so don't try finding exact perfect size nail I did that and I had to do a lot of work in the end it was shaping and finding shaping and finding and still it wasn't perfect but it looked reasonable. I got all my products on my local beauty sites beauty supply store. <laughs> it cost me about forty dollars. And I guess where we are from we could go to a professional nail tech on certain occasion and get your nail done for forty dollars. But that would only be once and with what I've bought what you see in the starting are all the products which I've used you could definitely do your nails twice with this stuff so that would be getting two nail getting your nails done twice for one price so it's definitely a win-win it's definitely a win win I'm in the video I use the alpha 8 brush and in the package it came with I shouldn't even be saying that <laughs> I'm still trying to fit the nails here as you can see and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the um, what do you call it? a fingernail clip and then I'm going to try to cut out the extra which I don't want and then I'm going to try to give my nails a shape that I would like desire shape Mm -hmm. um, what else am I forgetting? I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm all finished testing how stable they are. This is when I'm going to use a fingernail clip. I didn't went in with the scissors. Just try to rotate and find stuff that's working for you. Because that's what I did. Um, I'm really sorry that you couldn't see everything I was doing. I didn't really realize my hand was out of focus. Well, not really out of focus. I didn't realize my hand was directly under the camera. I wasn't. I wasn't studying. I was just trying to do what I could do. I didn't realize. But you will see the end product and that's all that matters. <laughs> see the end stuff. A scissors is definitely not what you should use. But come on, it's a DIY and a budget. So we're just using the series. Stuff that we find in our home every day to get what we want done. You know? So then I try to start to dip the 
rush into the acrylic getting on as money mark then into the powder to try to start building the nail it wasn't working I don't know why I'm a professional so then I decided to do the method I just use a big brush was a layer of money mount up the fingernail and then dip it into the powder each time a bit closer to the cuticle I did that so that when I'm building it, it will have a curve. You know the curve the nail has. Yeah. So each time I build one step closer to the cuticle. I try to go as clean as possible. Because you don't want that monima and that powder drying on your cuticle. It's painful to get off. And I hand file everything. So. I'm telling you, the pain I felt. <laughs> I will just shut my mouth now and let you try to watch the video. Please again, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment. I really would appreciate your comments. But don't come to me and tell me that I met anything correct because I'm not a professional. I'm just doing it for the fun and decide to share my experience with you. I'm not sounding like this because I have a cold. So. I'm trying. I definitely want to work on this to be uh, something a little more better. So. I will appreciate your comments and your. What is that word again? I appreciate your comments and your encouragement. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll let you to the rest of the week.